Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great displeasure that I have to come here before you today. I have watched the following review. Uh, I am disappointed to say that my apprentice Phil made several mistakes in the watch measurement section. First of all, he referred to the case diameter as 42 millimeters. It is clearly 41. <sighs> and then he refers to the lug width as the lug diameter. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, I have done everything I can to fix the following video so you get the correct information. You may notice a disparity in the voice when the measurements are read out. The measurements will be read out correctly and I will be giving Phil a dictionary so he knows what the definition of diameter is and the difference between diameter and width. Anyway, sorry about it. I apologize. Please do not unsubscribe from the channel. He will get better, I promise. I am working on him. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, and uh, yes, thank you for listening. Bye. Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Another Watch. Uh, thank you so much for tuning back in, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new here, um, welcome. My name is Phil and on this channel we review uh, mainly affordable watches. Um, if you are new, please consider subscribing to the Tramp channel and supporting us. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me. Um, the last count, we were about 94 subscribers, so not too far from that milestone of 100. So if you're new, please, please subscribe here uh, and, and give us some support. Thank you so much. Now, um, in this episode, we're going to be reviewing uh, this watch I have on my wrist, which is the Phoebus Eagle Ray uh, 300 meter diver. Now, about three months ago, we unboxed this on the channel and I gave my first impressions of it. Um, and it is way, way overdue a review. So I will not ramble on anymore. Let's flip the camera around and take a closer look at this one. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the Phoebus Eagle Ray 300 meter automatic dive watch. Now, as I mentioned in the uh, introduction, we have unboxed this before, uh, uh, about three months ago, and it is well overdue a full review. You can catch the unboxing if you haven't seen it up there, and I'll link it down in the description also. But let's let's get into this watch. Now, the reference number for this particular model is PY025A, and that's the uh, reference number for the green ombre dial that you see in front of you right now um it also comes in deep red uh blue and uh black dial too now i believe all of these models have sold out on phoebus's website but if you hunt around uh and i will try to link uh some kind of uh, link to this watch down in the description but um i got this one from amazon myself and i know that um, it has sold out since. So dimensions for you uh, of this one is uh, a nice 41 millimeters running from the 8 to the 2. If you go from the 9 to the 3 and include the crown, it is a little bit bigger than that, which I haven't measured. So that's a good one. Um, if I go from the crown... Let's do this on camera. I don't normally do this because I just realized I hadn't measured it. Yep, so we're about 44 millimeters um, from the nine to the three, including the crown. The lug to lug is 47 millimeters. We have a lug width of 20 millimeters. And from the top of the crystal, to the bottom of the case, we have a 14 millimeter measurement. And talking of the crystal, it is double domed sapphire crystal with that green ombre dial 
Um, everything you see is uh, stainless steel. It's the bracelet, the crown, the bezel, and of course the bezel insert is a ceramic bezel insert, which is, you know, amazing at this price point. Um, and we have a uh, 120 click unidirectional bezel. Um, let's let's just let's just listen to it for a second, guys. It's very very nice. It feels very mechanical, very like uh, ratchety, if you know what I mean. It, it feels very tool like and sturdy. And if you see, we all line up. There's no play or back play and no wobble. It is very, very secure indeed. And underneath that crystal there, you can see we have applied indices. We have the double batons at the 12, and then you've got circular indices at the one and the two with post batons at the three and the nine. And you have that color match date window down there at the six o'clock. Phoebus logo just beneath the 12. And you have, if I just unscrew this for a second and pop this out and then just wind this forward so you can see, we'll cover that in a second. I just wanted you to see the 300 meter at the bottom, 300 meters water resistance. And we have an obviously an automatic movement, which is the Seiko NH35. As you've just seen, we have a screw down branded crown and we have a screw down back with the deep etched um, octopus Phoebus logo, sapphire crystal, Phoebus automatic, water resistant, 1000 feet, 300 meters. And we have, while well, we have it open, we have a milled clasp with a branded clasp there saying Phoebus. Now, as you can see, I have scratched it up a bit. I have been wearing this watch. You've got double safeties on that clasp too. Um, I have been wearing this quite a bit um, and I absolutely love it. If you look at the bracelet, it bears more than a passing resemblance to the Seamaster 300 Professional Diver, which is my grail watch. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely bracelet. Yes. Um, I want to dive straight into this one because this is my first and only experience so far of Phoebus. And I have to say, since my absolute glowing kind of like first impressions, um, I'm extremely extremely impressed with this one my my enthusiasm really hasn't been dampened in the three months that i've owned this watch if you look at the brush finishing on on this and in fact all of the finishing so the brush side the chamfered high polished edge there transitioning back to brushed and then uh that brushed with those little tiny um high polished links and the same again, brush top of the lugs, the chamfered edge, and then the brushed case finish at the side. The finishing on this one is absolutely sensational. Not only are you getting double dome sapphire crystal, a ceramic bezel insert, the whole watch feels so solid. You know, the the links are, are screw links. Um, So... You know, it, the build quality on this is absolutely sensational. And maybe I've taken a long time to to actually, you know, do a full review of this because I've been struggling to find anything that I don't like about this watch. And, you know, watch reviewers here on YouTube, we try to be as unbiased as possible, or at least the the ones, the guys that I know, we try to be as as as, you know, unbiased as possible and go in with an open mind. But seriously, this brand, if any of their other watches are like this, then all I can say is watch out for them because they're going to be big. I've owned a, a, a Seamaster 
and this is I'm not going to say it's it's up to the quality of the Seamaster but I it is solid it feels luxurious everything from the the branding on, and the etching on the crown the solid bezel movement and and this one retails guys for 299 US dollars you know it's unbelievable and it also comes with a loomed bezel, loomed indices and loomed hands. And that lollipop second hand also has loom in it. And I'm just going to insert a shot here because it's absolutely sensational. It lasts very well. And, you know, I it's hard to fault a watch at this price point when... Everything is so solid. I believe there's 15 layers of BGW9 Superlumen over on those hands and indices and the bezel. It's absolutely unreal. 300 meters water resistance speaks for itself. And I can tell with that solid screw down back, that screw down crown, which is really, really good. You know, you, you just don't have to worry about getting this one wet whether you like going swimming, diving, showering in your watches, whatever, you are safe with this one. Um, absolutely fantastic. And it's simple to operate, you know, it's the screw down crown, which has a nice little pop. First position, you can roll and you can change the date. And some people will be killing me right now because I'm actually at two o'clock and I nearly two o'clock and I shouldn't really be adjusting the date there. Um, you pop it out into the next position. We have a hacking movement and then you can wind the time on. And the, the, the feel of that crown is absolutely sensational. It really, it really is. Um, it feels so well built. There is no grit. Hand winding, hacking, Seiko NH35 movement, which I'm going to be honest, I've been wearing this quite a bit and I've been getting like maybe very, very little one to two seconds a day, which is kind of crazy, but that's all I've been noticing a difference in this one. So mine is very, very well tuned and I got very, very lucky with this one. Um, just look at that green ombre dial too. It just looks absolutely sensational. And we have got uh, anti-reflective coating, undercoating, three layers of it underneath this dial. And it really, really does help with the legibility of this one, you know. So I, I can't really fault it. Everything I've told you about, guys, I absolutely love. Um, so I'm not going to do likes and dislikes because I pretty much like everything about this watch. It's comfortable to wear. It looks great on the wrist, as I'll show you in a second. Let's pop this on the wrist. Look how well that sits on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Just catches the light so well. The build quality on this one is absolutely wonderful. And like I say, I love everything from the bezel, you know, the loom, the design, the bracelet, the clasp, the fact that it's a, a milled clasp. It's got great action. The octopus logo on the back of the case, the double domed sapphire crystal with three layers of anti-reflective coating, the applied indices with that uh, BW9, sorry, BGW9 Superluminova on the hands and indices and the bezel. The fact that it's a colour match date wheel and it's down there at the six o'clock gives this watch extreme symmetry. And I love everything the shape, the shark teeth, tooth bezel, really grippy, goes, and the, the knurling on the crown is very easy to grip. Um, and really does allow that bez that crown to be a little bit smaller than it, it, it probably would normally be. It's got a very satisfying pop when it gets to it. There it is. I, I, the, just the action of it, everything is just fantastic on this watch. 
Um, so I'm not going to go through dislikes. I don't really dislike anything about this watch, but I'm going to have a couple of suggestions, okay? So if I'm really being nitpicky, the bracelet, although comfortable, these look like a, you know, maybe like on a Seamaster you'd get a nine link. This is actually just a single link. So if Phoebus wanted to upgrade this model, maybe they consider making this at least a five link bracelet would even increase the, the, the comfort level. And whereas I love that they've branded this clasp uh, with the Phoebus name, I really love that octopus. I think, you know, I know it's not for everybody. People might not like it. Some people might not like it, but I think they, they, they've got a great logo and they should really own that. Can you imagine an octopus being etched onto there? That Phoebus octopus. I mean, you may be even be able to lose the name, but I think you should own that octopus a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, keep doing what you're doing, guys, because this is a fantastic model, a fantastic watch, that NH35 movement in there. I know we probably all own a watch, at least one watch with an NH35 movement, but it's absolutely a workhorse can't say anything bad about it really um so i highly recommend looking at phoebus if you haven't already they're a solid solid watch brand and if you can get one of these fantastic but they do several other models which i if they're anywhere close to the build quality of this then you you're not really going to be going wrong with this micro brand so yeah absolutely check Phoebus out. I'll leave a link to their website uh, down in the description. And yes, highly recommend you check this one out and you check the brand Phoebus out because I'm in love with this watch. This watch is not going to go anywhere. It's staying in my collection forever. Absolutely love it, guys. Um, that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've liked the video, give us a thumbs up and um, thank you so much for all your support as always. It really, really means a lot to me. Um, until next time, guys, live life, love watches, and I'll see you very, very soon.